It did it again. <laughs> it turned on again without me like pressing the button. This thing. Okay, anyway. So, hey, it's the abstractionist. I'm here with a um video. It's like a short video of basically some things I'm thinking about doing in 2023. So, of course, I'm in this like planning-ish kind of phase. Um, and so I'm thinking of all the courses I want to do on the more spiritual side and then on the more just like practical, artistic end, you know, um, things I want to do for this channel and whatnot. And so one of the things I am considering is delving into astrology. Now, I give my perspectives on astrology on here. Um, if you want to see an example of that, I guess I'll link that. I always forget to link stuff and then I'm like, oh shit, let me go back. Let me go back to the video. And put this in there. Put the little card in there. But yeah, so I'm considering studying astrology a bit more. Um, I just feel like I want to study a little bit. I want to do a little bit more medical intuitive. Next year, I'll finally like get my massage stuff settled. Um, and so I do want to do that. I want to start studying astrology though and kind of going forward with it. So I was just looking at this book um, because it's one of the few books that I have of astrology. Um, I used, like, I grew up reading, like, horoscopes and stuff like that. And then once you get into astrology, you kind of realize that, like, that does no justice, <laughs> no justice to astrology. Like, that does no justice because it's just your sun sign. It's not your moon sign. It's not your rising. It's not your Venus. It's none of the other planets. It's just your sun sign. And people tend to pigeonhole you based on your sun sign. You could be, you know, like I'm a Cancer sun, but you can be a Sagittarius moon and not come off like a Cancer sun, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you may not come off as a Cancer. Um, people have told me I come off as an Aquarius. <laughs> Um, cause I'm just like, where, where, where are we going with that? <laughs> but you know, this horoscope esque kind of way of looking at it doesn't do us any justice when it comes to astrology. So I think I'm going to delve deeper into astrology. I don't know where I'm going to go with that, but I do think that actually studying it will be, um, something worthwhile in the upcoming year i might get into like baby like astrology or something like that i don't know um i'm very i'm very curious in resource mapping as a topic and um what i mean is by kind of like social work but like not that social work but not in the setting that social work is in so resource mapping if you're in astrology like all of these little things like if you need certain resources based on what i'm seeing here you know if i'm seeing a quincux of your venus and your mercury here's some resources for that and blah blah blah, blah. like stuff like that and more practical ancestral matters also but like putting it to more practical use because i kind of feel like astrology can get you pigeonholed into like being up there but you live down here and you need that proper grounding into reality making your stuff work making yourself go forward um having like fruits of your labor be in this 3d reality and not waiting on the next reality or life that's kind of the traps you know if you i don't it doesn't matter if you believe in religion but that's one of the traps of religion sometimes is that you're doing all this stuff for like over there and then over here sucks <laughs> you know so you do want to ground a lot of the stuff that you're working on and so i'm going to try and figure out how that works i'm interested in astrology courses more than tarot courses i think because tarot is very intuitive for me i'm not really hmm, 
I'm not really interested in studying it all that deeply right now. I feel like basic card meanings I've kind of gathered from watching YouTube videos all the time and then just basic little stuff that I've like looked into um, but I'm more intuitive as a reader and so that's not arrogance it's just I kind of feel like I would rather study astrology <laughs> and tarot you know should I come across it, it probably will be something related to um, color theory and numerology would probably be more interesting um, and symbology and iconography would be uh, you know other things I don't know if I would study necessarily Kabbalah Kabbalah or any like I don't know I don't know if I would study anything like that um, to kind of broaden my knowledge although I do have a like a little mini book on it but yeah so one of um, going to your book one of the books that I have and I feel like it's a pretty good starter for astrology and I've marked it up for my own stuff because I've gone through my chart and I've made little markings in here for myself um, is the only astrology folk you'll ever need Joanna Martin wool folk so it looks like this and it is pretty good like It'll go through like the sun sign, like kind of like basic information about it, kind of like quick facts relating to it, um, your traits, and then it goes and you know a little bit like that. It gives you some famous people if you're like interested in that kind of stuff. I am interested in people's birthdays and necessarily people's signs. I'm interested more in countries astrology charts than people um because i kind of feel like astrology charts of countries really help you understand maybe the consciousness bubble that they are all under in some way even though they're individuals like there's certain themes if you like there there's universal themes right because we're all in this we're all in the the capital C consciousness or the capital T truth that envelops us. But there's smaller C consciousness, consciousness, consciousnesses and smaller T truths, right? Like, and so if you're in particular countries, you kind of, you're kind of hooked into that consciousness. Even if you like aren't a native of that land, you are plugged into that consciousness in some way. Um, and so it's really interesting to study charts because also they change and um, a country could have like three or four charts and what does that mean you know what I'm saying so yeah it kind of sometimes can push the edge of like this shit ain't real you know what I'm saying like stuff like that and I've considered I was like is that shit real am I just going down a rabbit hole of useless information and then like five years from now I'll be like kind of like atheist when it comes to like astrology I don't know I kind of feel like energetically I feel different shifts and for the time being I would rather explore that when it comes to like the planets because I do feel like the planets movements affect us because we're on earth like if the moon can affect us and I'm pretty sure that the other planets or lumen even luminaries because the moon is luminary right can affect us the sun can affect us the sun helps us get vitamin d you know like I, I kind of I feel like even on a scientific level these things are affecting us and so why not on a spiritual level um so that's kind of where I stand with that. So back to the book. Um, it'll go through the deacons of the signs. And then it'll do like cusps. Yeah, this book was pretty extensive. And then it'll do um, it'll do your moon signs also. It'll start going into that. My moon is in Leo, so it's kind of appropriate. <laughs> It'll go into the different planets, so those don't have like full big ass pages like the other ones. But you know, you know, once you get past your moon, then it kind of drops. <laughs> I feel like people aren't as interested. Um, 
it'll give you the houses what it means for them to be in certain houses it'll give you I'm um, kind of how to look at stuff with cardinal mutable what it means to have like you know certain charts dominance what hemisphere is dominant you know dominant and blah 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 so yeah like hemisphere like different hemispheres and corners and um the ruling sign calculating your like getting your ascendant then it has different aspects right so then it goes into like kind of the zodiac sign what it kind of represents kind of like a historical overview of it the age of Aquarius it talks about that it even talks about different ages like the age of Leo the age of Sagittarius the age of whatever because you know these things happen in like 2000 ish cycles the year cycles then it goes to different definitions so a bunch of different Nations, and then it goes to the what is this ephemeris? So it goes to the section, and basically from here you'll be able to kind of look up where the sun through Pluto will be um, from starting 1900 up until 2100, and so it goes through that from sun all the way to moon. I mean sun all the way to Pluto. Um, so yeah. So this is an example. So it just looks like that. And so I'm kind of fascinated because I always look at charts and I'm, I'm not charts, but I always look at stuff like that um, because I don't know people's charts. So when I get to know people, I'm like, what's your birthday? <laughs> what's the uh, month and year? Where were you born? What time were you born? You don't know that? Oh, okay. <laughs> So I'm really interested in that. Another thing I'm interested in is astral cartography. I feel like the certain lines will help you figure out ancestral things. Like I did a chart and I could see like one of the Saturn lines and Saturn kind of deals with ancestry a little bit in my opinion. And I like, it's so crazy because I did the chart and then the next day I tried to do the chart. I felt like on the same website and it was like completely different chart. And I was like, what the fuck is this? But, um, the ley line, the lines through the the Saturn line in particular was I was like, oh my god, because it was passing through countries that I felt like an ancestral connection with, and so I was like, what? Um, and then of course, like I said, the next day I like tried to do it and it was like a completely different chart, and I was like, what? What? <laughs> you know, like what? what, 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 what why? Got my hoops all up. But yeah, so if anyone is looking for an astrology book, I would say this one you would probably spend a long time in. You probably could get, you could probably spend like a year doing this. For me, I'm not so much a book reader, um, so I will go through this because I have this and then I have like a sextrology. So basically, like couples, like I gave one of my books away because I was interested in this Gemini guy when I was in college. And um, not the guy that started my spiritual journey. He's like a Gemini, Taurus cuss. Um, but this was like a Gemini, like second deacon Gemini, I think. And um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been all Gemini, essentially. <laughs> They've been all Gemini's. And the book was like not favorable. I had to like think about where I was going with this. The book wasn't favorable. I was like, we're never gonna be together. I was like, no, bitch, you're not. <laughs> no, bitch, you're not gonna be together. You were never gonna be together. Cause it's like my self node is in Gemini, so like I always attract people with Gemini in their chart for some reason, or just air in general. I'm like, please, please stop. I don't want any more. I don't want any more of the. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, 
there's that. So I would get into that too. Um, I probably will incorporate the more sexuality type stuff on the other channel, mainly because I feel like it goes into body work and allowing and vulnerability. And I feel like this channel isn't about that, so <laughs> I won't do it. Um, but yeah, so the only astrology book you'll ever need. I would say check it out, see if you like it, and go from there. Um, I will be getting some classes. I'll be looking into some things. I. I'm always on my computer, so I tend to read things about Zodiac and astrology on my computer. Um, and I also, you know, you guys know the videos that I do on astrology. I tend to um, be really intuitive about it. Like some of the stuff I read, but some of the stuff I kind of just watch a variety of videos and different avenues. And then I think about stuff and um, when I feel like there's a lesson that's coming up, I go for it as far as like making the video and on the topic because I feel like if I'm feeling pulled towards Saturn and Libra um kind of energy and perspectives what ends up happening is that experientially I end up consuming things before I make that video and it gives me thoughts and then I'm like huh this seems like it will resonate with the Saturn and Libra or the, a Venus and Scorpio or a Mars and Virgo or something like that like it seems to resonate with that topic that energy and so here's a video on it um, it's not really me necessarily reading a book and then coming up with my own perspectives it's me kind of sitting down and you can call it channeling you can call it whatever um, and just like thinking on things thinking on what I've consumed that day thinking on lessons that I'm unlocking within myself, thinking on what I'm observing in other people, what I'm feeling for the future, um, I'm feeling for different timelines, it, it becomes like a big like thing. And so that's kind of how the videos, astrology videos come to, come to pass, most of them. So this was supposed to be like a five minute video and it's like 20 minutes. But this is basically where I'm going to go in 2023. I am going to be studying astrology more. Um, I just feel like I'm called to do it. And I feel like I'm also called to study the asteroids because no one really talks about them. I found an excellent, excellent person on here that was talking about like Sedna and what he was just kind of like thinking about when it came to astrology. Because he also was kind of like intuitive. He studied it, but you could tell that, you know, you have thoughts beyond the book. And I really enjoyed it. And he's on Facebook. And I got to, like, follow his content because he stopped posting to YouTube. You, it always happens that the people that I, like, fuck with always end up, like, leaving YouTube. And I'm like, come on, bro. Like, to the point where, like, they take everything down. And I'd be like come on um he didn't take everything down but like it gets disappointing <laughs> it gets disappointing i'm like i'm like a codependent i'm like no i found you like please don't go abandonment issues coming up but yeah um i just yeah i i liked his work so i'm gonna like find him again on facebook or whatever and like follow him because i think he's still active there so yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace out. I'll see you later. <laughs>